Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So I'm down on the coast in a little town called Oceanside. And I'm going to do some fishing. I'm going to do some fishing on the beach. Uh, there's a few jetties here. I can try that as well. But uh, surf perch come in real close. And they eat sand crabs and other little stuff in the beach. So that's what I'm doing down here. I'm going to quickly get a bite to eat because it was a long drive. I'm hungry. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. It's about 8.30 in the morning, so I'll probably start fishing around 9.30. Uh, it's better to fish in the morning, but the way that the tide is uh, right now, I just decided to wait. Uh, high tide is at 12. It's good to hit it on the incoming and outgoing. So anyway, I'm going to go eat and I'll be right back. So this little harbor has a lot of really good little eateries and stuff. I actually lived here a long time ago and really enjoyed the town. It's nice. But uh, we'll see if I can catch fish. I used to fish this harbor a lot, but a conventional rod, a little spinning rod. Um, again, it was a long time ago, but caught a lot of little bay bass and stuff, but never tried the surf for some reason, but it's really good from what I hear here. So I went to a tackle shop and they told me this is the best place to go, at least within my driving distance, sorta. <laughs> Still a long drive, because I'm way out in the desert, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna stop in and get, uh, there's some fish and chips. A little early for that, but it's about the best thing here. I haven't had that in a while, so. Well, hey guys, so, I'm just grabbing coffee and a burrito. So it turns out the fish and, uh, fish and chips place is closed until 11, so. This place is really good too, Nautical Bean. Um, I used to live right in those places a long time ago. So I would come down here and get coffee every morning. Um, it's been a while, so it's kind of nice being in my old stomping grounds. Uh, we lived, My wife and I lived there for three months uh, when she did travel nursing a long time ago. And it was uh, uh, really nice. We liked it. We were right on the water, which is cool. And uh, yeah, so back here and loving drinking the nautical bean it's really good coffee guys so if you're ever in this area check out their coffee blue make it or blue mountain something um coffee um, so gonna eat and then we'll get out to fish all right guys so i actually funny i met the owner of that coffee shop which is like one of my Weiss and I's favorite coffee, their Blue Mountain Blend is amazing. And he recommended, he actually gave me a sample. Pretty cool. Talked with him for a little bit. Night Watch coffee. Um, he said it's really high um, caffeine. So, keeps you awake better. But, I was talking with him. He's a big fisherman, fly fisherman. Um, he fly fishes for like marlin and stuff. But uh, I talked with him and he was telling me kind of what to do, so that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully I get some. Uh, he said, if you're fishing deep, you're not fishing it right, especially for the perch. So, really pretty shallow. He said, you probably don't even need waders. You can probably fish right off the shore without them. But um, he said, because it's cold, you know, if you do have to get in the water, it might be a good idea to have them. So, I'm going to put them on anyway. But uh, I'm excited I'm going to get out there. Talked with him for a little while, so getting a late start here. Um, really nice guy. Good info, too. This is such a cool area down here. I could just spend all day walking around without a fly rod in my hand. But I'm here to fish today, not sightsee. So let's go fish. As you can see, I started with the furled worm fly that I tied a few weeks back. Hopefully it'll work. Okay, it's a little unnerving being in waders and having waves crash on you full blast. I tried casting behind the waves. 
thinking that Perch would follow the waves, hoping to snag a tasty morsel. But no such luck. Of course, I had to deal with casting around surfers and other beachgoers. But I did start to be able to read the waves pretty well, and knew when I should step back away from the big ones. But one thing I didn't bring, which I really needed, was a stripping basket. My line got tangled up more times than I could count, which kept me from fishing. I mean, this one took six whole minutes to untangle. Okay, I fished all the way to the other jetty and decided to trade out flies for this awesome looking sand crab pattern. So I thought at first I hooked a fish here, and maybe I did. However, I'm quite sure it was a bit of debris that I snagged. Maybe like seaweed or something. All right guys, so here's the deal. I fished the surf for a while, a long time, and didn't even get a bite. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, not getting out far enough. I was told they're at like ankle depth uh, so, I, mean, I was fishing all through there, adding a little deeper, uh, up and down. Didn't even get a bite. Now, I was told that uh, high tide on the outgoing tide is the best. The problem is, today, the outgoing tide, the big high tide, there's two of them. There's a small one and a big one. The big high tide is middle of the night uh, for the next week or two. So I hit it at the wrong time. It's just the only time I had. Uh, my wife's gonna be working pretty much seven days in the row. Uh, but after that, I should be able to come down and catch some because that'll hit in the day, that bigger tide. I can come down er super early, not deal with the people, on my back cast and stuff like that. So I decided to come down here. I'm on a jetty, uh, as you can see. And I'm gonna try for some calico bass, rock bass, stuff like that, uh, spotted bay bass maybe. Um, there's a Garibaldi down here, which is a state fish, bright orange, really pretty fish. They're not going to bite a fly. Uh, they eat vegetation. Um, plus it's illegal, I think, to target them. Definitely illegal to keep them. So I do remember, though, that from when I used to fish down here, that if you see Garibaldi, generally that's where the bass are. So I'm going to try right in this spot, try to fish around a little bit, a little more protected. Not going to get as far of a cast, but I'm right here if you look. These are the rocks, and I'm just kind of fishing down down below the rocks here with my really heavy weighted line. Hopefully I don't get tangled up. Okay, after trying a while on the jetties, I went down and fished along the docks all the way back to the car, trying for some bass. Alright guys, well, 
I didn't catch anything all day. Not even a bite. Didn't even feel a fish bite. It was a tough day. I did come at the wrong time. Maybe I was doing the wrong thing. I don't know. But what I do know is that I'm going to try again. See, that's the beauty of fishing. You never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates, right? So you might catch, you might not. Uh, you might catch, especially in the ocean, a plethora of different type of, types of fish. I, the target species I was going for was uh, um, surf perch and didn't catch any, didn't even feel them bite. And once that tide started going out quite a bit, it just wasn't good timing, so I tried around. Tried all different things, didn't even get a, another bite. No bites, whatsoever. So, yeah, I'm gonna try again. It is a tough time of year, too, down here. Uh, really, the summers are a lot better. This is tougher time. But you can still catch surf perch, I just hit it at the wrong timing. So, I'm going to come back down when the tide is much higher, uh, a better tide. Right now it's, it's really low, uh, even the high tide was semi-low. And so, <clears throat> when I can come down and that tide is way farther up, uh, it knocks out a lot more of the um, crustaceans and sand crabs and whatnot. Um, when the, the, the waves crash, it knocks those up and surf perch sit there and just eat on them. I didn't even see a sand crab. And I used to live down here and I used to catch them all the time as a kid, just pick them out of the sand and kind of fun. I didn't even see one of those. So I don't think the tide was high enough. I just didn't hit it right. I'm gonna come down when I can and catch some fish hopefully next time. So guys, uh, go check out my shirt from Teespring. Link is in the description section. Uh, I've got long sleeve, short sleeve, uh, sweaters, stickers, um, a lot of you were asking for stickers, so there are stickers available for purchase there. Um, mugs and whatnot with my logo on it. I've got some other cool designs as well. Yeah, go check that out, help me out. Purchase a few of those things, it gives me some money to be able to keep doing these videos. Uh, I had a great time, even though I didn't catch. It was nice being in my old stomping grounds. Um, it was nice being back on camera with you guys. So I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys go catch some fish.